Hi, I'm Nancy Quinn. Thanks for coming back to my kitchen today. We're making a really special treat, strawberry refrigerator jam. Now, I don't can, to be honest, I don't know how, but this is a really simple recipe and you can get a great result. It's a jam that will go into your refrigerator and it will keep for about two weeks or so. Now, my husband makes the best biscuits. And a jam like this is great on a biscuit or even your toast in the morning. I have fresh strawberries here. These are four cups that I have hauled out and sliced up. And we're just gonna put them right here onto the stove. It's a simple recipe. There's only a couple of ingredients in it, which is another reason why I like to like, why I like to like it. I do like to like it. The second ingredients that you need is one cup of sugar. And I use two tablespoons of fresh lemon. I actually squeeze the lemons myself, but if you don't happen to have a lemon, go ahead and use the store-bought kind. It's very simple, just those three ingredients. Now we're gonna stir it, and we're going to bring it up to a boil. Now, once it starts to boil, turn your heat down and cook it slowly on simmer, oh, for about 10 minutes or so. And that's all there is to it. So let me get this going, and we'll check back in just a second. I've got a good rolling boil here, and I'm going to turn down the temperature to simmer. Well, our jam has been simmering now for about 10 minutes. And I have a little trick to show you that lets me know if the jam is ready. I take a little bit and I put it on the plate. Now if it runs, which you can see it's doing right now, it's still a little runny. And I want to cook this longer. You know, some days it just takes longer than usual. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to bring it up to a little more of a stiff boil and then we'll check it again. Well, I have let this cook for an additional seven minutes, and now we're gonna give it a quick test and see if it's ready. I just need a little bit on my spoon. Now do remember that this does not have pectin in it, and so it isn't going to be as thick as traditional jam. However, we should get it to the point to where it's not running all over the plate. And I would say that this is ready. As it cools, it will continue to thicken a little bit more. So let's let it cool and then we'll take a final look at it. Well, our jam has come out of the refrigerator and you can see, oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? And I did wanna let you know that you can put it on more than toast. Here, I have just a little piece of pound cake with some strawberry jam on it and some whipped cream. And it's really good to on croissants. I actually like to put a little bit of the jam on the bread. And let's not forget our complete favorite, which is ice cream. It is really, really good on ice cream. So these are just a few ideas of things you can do with the jam. I hope you enjoy it and I really want to hear from you if you decide to make it. I promise you, you will not be disappointed and it's very easy to make. It'll stay in the refrigerator, as I mentioned, for a couple of weeks, if it lasts that long. So thanks for your time today. I hope that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and feel welcome to leave me any comments or remarks because I read every one of them and I do answer them. So I have really enjoyed our time together today. And if you read my book, you'll know what I mean when I say, I got a bolt because my ice cream is melting. So thanks so much. We'll see you next time.